Today is day eight of how to become a pilot. We're going to talk about the multi-crew cooperation course. Now I must say that I've been trying to find a good spot to record because they're doing construction works in the houses around us and here it's windy. So far you've been flying with single engine and multi-engine aircraft, but even if you were often with your instructor, these are single pilot aircraft, which means that they can be flown by one pilot only. In big jets such as Airbus and Boeing, a minimum of two pilots is required. One pilot takes care of the flying and the other one talks to the air traffic control, does the fuel checks, checks the aircraft status and fills in the flight plan. In the MCC course, we practice to work together as a crew in the cockpit. We do this in a simulator. First, we will learn a little bit about the new jet so that we know how to fly it and how the systems work. But the MCC course isn't so much about learning how to fly a jet aircraft. It's about learning to work together in a multi-crew environment in normal situations, but also and especially in abnormal and emergency situations. It is very important to have a proper communication and use standard callouts to keep a clean environment in the cockpit. One of the most important things of the MCC is the CRM, Crew Resource Management. CRM is all about using all available resources. It's about all the non-technical aspects of aviation, such as decision making, stress management, fatigue, cooperation and communication. What the instructor in the MCC course wants to see is that you're working well together. Whether you're friends or not, whether you've known each other for a very long time or never seen each other before. The key to making that happen is SOPs, Standard Operational Procedures. They are listed as duties for the pilot flying and the pilot non-flying in the correct sequence with the appropriate callouts to keep both pilots in the loop. The MCC course is really much fun, but you have to keep focused on yourself and your partner. The goal is to show that you can work well together, not to show that you can fly really well. With all the licenses you got, you already proved that point. I like to say that good pilots are only great pilots if they know how to cooperate well, have empathy and are assertive. Flying skills will grow with experience, but having a good attitude is something much more difficult to learn. If you're doing a modular course and you're still looking to do an MCC course uh, somewhere around, on my website I've written a few of the flight schools that do really good MCC courses in Europe. So that's it for today. Um, tomorrow we're going to talk about the type rating and the day after we will talk about how to find a pilot job. Two really important topics. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.